gentlemen, we are on our 11th exit ticket. We are exploring pages 82 to 93. You should have pre-read these sections and annotated these sections. Um, once again, I'm ensuring that all individuals are ready to go with their reading done, annotations in front of them. Great engage in our conversation with dialogue and evidence. Once again, pages 81 to 93, we're going to explore, we're going to revisit text features. Uh, talk about what our last exit ticket revolved around, which was the bus boycotts, of course, and Jim Crow conditions. And now we're elevating our conversation to explore a couple different things. So let's go ahead and get started. I want you to consider a couple things. Let's revisit text features. What are text features? Here now, please. All right. Who is Fred Gray? And how are Claudette Coven and Fred Gray connected? Let's go ahead and do a turning talk at your desk. Fred Gray. Give me a two-minute talk. Fred Gray is Claudette. So excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I did not ask for anyone to speak out. We use silent hands, and we're doing a turn and talk initially. You should be talking to your table. All right, start to wrap up your conversations. Make sure you're taking note of your evidence. Oh, yep, I got evidence. I got good evidence. All right. So let me go ahead and get a volunteer from a table to have a collaborative contribution. All right? Table five. Isaiah, right, you're going to represent for your table. First and foremost, let's revisit the text features. Give me a couple of the text features that we've revisited, that we've explored so far. I'm going to revisit that. What are a couple of text features that we've looked at? Where else would they be? Okay, so we looked at uh, down the Board of Education of Copita. So how about someone else? Can someone help them out? What are the text features that we've looked at? Dominion. Some text features that we have looked at are images, captions, oh. some image series, text boxes, anecdotes, Images, image series, captions, hold, hold that thought, who can build on that? What's, what are some additional text features that we've seen? Mikhail. Transitions, absolutely. So transitions of, of what type of transition? Like, like perspective. Okay. Absolutely. Transitions of perspective going from who to who? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's Mikhail's opportunity right here. Um, the, like Philip Hoos and like the author and um, Claudette. Narrator to the main character, yeah. Any other? Oscar. Quotes. Quotes, absolutely. Oh, but let's build on that. Any others? Eli. There's also another type of quotes called historical quotes you can use. Historical quote, and that's usually what what is a marker? That would help oh, us. Date and time slash time stamp. You have a date or a time Day. stamp. Uh -huh. Anything else? Any other text features? Wait. We're leaving out some good ones, some juicy ones. What do we got, Anthony? Um, headers and text boxes. Okay, headers and text boxes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Artifacts, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh. <coughs> All right, Ava. Graphs? Graphs, sure. Graphs. Yeah, and what they, these are like, uh, th this is, we would category, um, put in a category of data, right? Graphs, pie charts, bar graphs. 
Right. More? Is there more? Yes. Yeah. Diagrams? Okay, well, diagrams. That will be in the same category as, as uh, the graph. Graphics, data, diagram. All right, excellent job. So, hey, I got a challenge. I got a challenge. How about within the pages that we've read, give me evidence of one or more of these text pages. We're going to do one at a time. One at a time. All right? All right, you ready? You got this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's make it fun. All right. So once again, we're going to respect the speaker, so I'm going to go ahead and start that process off the right way. Let's go ahead and respect the speaker. Look for silent hands only. Rosario is going to start us off. And we're looking for evidence to support these text features that we've just come, we've just uh, spoken about. All right. Text feature number one, images. Where's the uh, evidence of images between, has to be between 82 and 93. Oh, images, who has it? Victoria. Page 91 is an image? Yeah. Absolutely. How about this? Really quickly, here you go, Johnny. Who can give me the difference between the image on 85 and the image series on 91? What's the difference? Oh, I know. Gregory. Um, uh, there are multiple images uh, oh. on 85 and then. Oh, on 85? Yeah. Not on 85. On 91. Okay, and what does that represent? What are the multiple images? What, what is the relevance of multiple images? To show art? Hey, but help them out. To show, to show um, how many people um, have gone to jail. Okay, so but what does an image series do usually? A series of images? It shows, shows like um, different time, time periods of people. Uh, no. Yeah. I think an image series will give you more information than that one image. So yeah, it'll give us a, a you know, it'll build on the image that we're looking at or the information that the image has given us, right? Right? So an image series can show us several different instances of a scenario or an event, right? How about this? Um, how about a caption? All right? So hey, we're not going to dwell too much on uh, our text features. Uh, we'll build on those. Victoria, you already got one. Who did I? Yeah, you got one already. Put it. Left. There you go. Ready? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So let's jump forward a little bit. Who is Fred Gray? Right. Make sure you support this evidence. Boy, with evidence. I know you know. I want to know how you know. It has to be within the pages 82 to, or 81 to 93. 81 to 93. Make sure you have it before your hands up. All right, Katie, what you got? Greg Gray is Claudette Coleman's lawyer. Okay, so Claudette Coleman's lawyer, where did you find that? I found it. On page, I found he, that he's Claudette, or that, that, that he says he's Claudette Coleman's lawyer, or what he's doing? On page, on what page? So he is, so how about this? I love that. That's actually our, our last uh, turn and talk, talking piece. Mm -hmm. But you can shorten that a little bit. Who is Fred Gray? He is a what? He is a. Oh, no, ha, ha, ha. Let's go ahead and give him the space. Give him the respect of the, of the, uh, the floor for a second. He's a lawyer. There we go. For uh, Claudia Coven, and he wants to uh, have unconstitutional rights for black people on the bus. All right, so he is a lawyer or an attorney, and he's advocating for Dominion. I'm advocating to, to prevent segregated laws from continuing okay. for their existence. Remember, the reason why I'm asking for evidence is because you weren't there in the 1950s and 1960s. You more likely don't know anyone who was there, so you don't have first-person testimony. You don't have second-person testimony. So if you don't have that, then what are you doing? Guessing? Just talking? If you have the information from the book, right, you have context clues or you have some awareness, then go a little further, dig a little deeper, and find that specific evidence. Because that's what you'll need on an exit ticket anyway to show that you have mastery of the content. That's what's the most important thing. All right? We don't really, we aren't really concerned as much with what you think you know. 
We want to know what you can prove. Can you do a deep dive and show your diligence in finding the information? Because that is the skill set that's going to allow you to prosper in academia. And that's what this is, right? That's what we're doing here. If we're playing basketball. I don't want to know how many yards you can carry the ball, or if you can score a touchdown or not. It's irrelevant. I want to know, can you do this specific thing in this specific task for this specific goal? Right? So yeah, evidence is extremely important. It is important that you're able to give me feedback with where you got the information. Right? So, Daniel, what you got? Okay. So on page 83, the text states, the MI... The MIA members no. proposed propose many can candidates. Yeah, you read it. <clears throat> Go ahead, keep going. Right. Don't give up. Dominion, help them out. All right, proposed many candidates, and Gray interviewed the most promising. In the end, he whittled the list down to five names. All were women. This this was because more women than men rode the buses, and because Gray and his colleagues wanted to protect the jobs of men who are typically regarded as the breadwinners of the families. So let's, and I appreciate that tremendously. So let's give a little more context. The MIA, the Montgomery Improvement Association, voted to let Fred Gray go ahead with the lawsuit against the city looking to integrate buses. That segregation of transportation was illegal, right? And he was basing this on what landmark court case? What else being segregated was found illegal by that point in time? Make sure you have evidence to support this. Something else had already been found to be illegal. Uh, all you gotta do is find the information and raise your hand. Right? What was illegal up to that point that Fred Gray was basing his case off of to say now buses are illegal too? Can't segregate those. Right? I know the man got it. Where is it? Mm, of course, you have to. Something happened before this court case about segregated buses to give them the grounds to argue that buses segregated should not be should not be legal. Eli, what you got? Uh, I think that on page eighty three, the text So how about this? You don't have to go that far back. So remember, we're staying within these pages here for a specific reason. And I know you want to go back to where the text gives you the information, but don't forget we just had a conversation about something, a tool, in the novel that you can use, and it actually talks about what you are referring to. And it's not as far back as you think. So what am I? It's ridiculous. I mean, you got this? It's tried. All right, so Claudette, she's getting ready. We know that she already has been arrested for not giving up her seat in protest of bus segregation law. She know, you know that she has a lawsuit um, that they have approved, that the leaders of the civil rights movement in itself have approved um, in relation to the bus boycott. We know that Fred Gray was appointed as her lawyer because he has former or previous uh, success combating uh, civil rights issues. He's familiar with Claudette Coben, uh, and he is also backed by the leaders of the civil rights movement. And we know that they have confidence that they could potentially win this case because Brown v. Board of Education was a win. Schools were desegregated. It was considered unlawful to continue to segregate schools. Right. With all that being said, how does this section of the text contribute to the overall story for Claudette Coben? How does this section of the text contribute to the overall story of Claudette Coben? That's your exit ticket. Make sure you write the prompt down. We are transitioning in a couple minutes.